Hey, hi everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here. We got our Miss Brooks playing in the background. Please forgive me. Look, it's the purple. Now this is the third time I'm doing this. My computer has died on me twice so far, or my laptop, uh, my iPad has died on me twice so far. I am so sorry, guys. I am tripping over my words like you would not believe this morning. I got a haul from Club Lala Land Stamps Craft. Or, oh, it's Club Lala Land Stamps, but it's Lala Land Crafts is the main company. And, oh my gosh, this is so cute. First, let's talk about the packages. You can get your Club Lala Land Crafts in. You have three choices. Choice number one is stamps only. This is generally a $25 retail that you can get for $19.95. Then there's the cutting dies only set, which is generally more than that. I want to say it's like a $40 value or a $30 value. You can get that for $29.99. No, it's, no, it's more than $30. It's got to be $35 to $40 value. And then the full product okay pack which is both the stamps and the cutting dies and you can get that for $39.99 and for that one I do believe that the smallest value I have gotten so far is $63 worth of merchandise this one's more than that okay so let's take a look at the card that they sent me Okay, this was for the April of 2019 set. All right, the value on this set was $75.99. Woo hoo, kachoo, and I got it for $39.99. So that means that I saved about 35 bucks. Wow. Okay. So, what all did I get? Well, here's the Marcy stamp. This is Marcy in Paris, and we'll take a look at that here at a closer look here in a bit. And then I got Poodles of Love. Those are cute. We'll take a look at a real-life poodle so you guys can see that the nose is not correct. Something I'm just going to have to get over. And then we get these cutting dies. You get Paris, which is actually five separate dies, or not five separate dies, five separate separate uh, letters, two of which are, oh, what do you call those? Um, they're, they're icons instead of letters. And then there's the rose bouquet and the harlequin plate. This we need to talk about because it does not look like this when you cut it out. And then you also get a special link to a tutorial. Okay, you probably just saw that, but I'll cover it up anyways. All right. These tutorials are done by the designs team and Ariana, the gal who runs A La La Land Crafts, has put together a great design team. Each one of the tutorials has Copic marker suggestions. Um, I use Spectrum Noir, so I have to kind of play with it a bit. All right, and then there's her blog address, and there's the it bit for getting over to the fan club page over on Facebook. Okay, so make sure you guys go check out Lava Land Crafts. Now, let's start with the stamp since that's the smaller of the two. Now these are red rubber stamps so they come with a foam. You don't need a foam in your stamp platform when you are stamping with these because it's a foam is built in. Alright these stamps come in the red rubber form in the kit but when she releases them, they come in clear stamp form. I don't know if she uses the polymer 
or if she uses silicon. All I know is they come in a clear stamp form. And they stamp beautifully. Okay, now you can see that the stamp stamps clear. And what they showed you had a pattern on it. They had the stripes and the folds in the skirt. That's all pen work, guys. All right. So you can paper, paper piece it together where you cut out a skirt to fit in that spot. You cut out a purse to fit in that spot. You cut out a sweater to fit in that spot. And you glue it all in place. Oh, even her beret. Or you can color it in with markers. Or you can leave it plain just like this. It's completely up to you. All right. The poodle's noses. I have a pet peeve when it comes to the way that poodles are portrayed. Because I have a poodle. This is my Luna. Okay, she was about one, maybe two years old here. So this is a, a picture that's two or three years old. She just turned four, or she will be four this year. And you can see she does not have a huge nose. She has a long nose, not a wide nose. So I think they went with a wide nose to try to show distance. But it's just something I'm going to have to suck up. My daughter keeps telling me, well, they must be uh, Labradoodles. And I think I'm just going to put that in my mind. Okay. So, and then you can see that these are fairly plain. And these, they seem to add a little texture to them. Again, that is all pen work. Now the stamps, or not the stamps, the dies. <laughs> I did that last time, too. First, this die, all right, is the rose bouquet. You can see it's a solid die. I highly suggest you use the detail shim for this. Um, I had to cut this through twice. I was lucky I was able to get it back into this place correctly so that it would cut out without ruining the die. And then I was able to reposition it before I cut again. And um, that took care of the problems that I was having with that cutting. And, oh no, I've lost the rest of my dies. No, there they are. At least there's one. Okay, and then the Paris die. All right. This one, I'm not sure if you should use the detail die or not, because the the Eiffel Tower in and of itself has a lot of these little things, a lot of the little cutouts, and I had a heck of a time getting them out of the first run through that I did. So I want I put it back in there and tried doing it again, just to get it to cut out. Excuse me, to get it to cut out. And I didn't have it lined up completely, and it ruined the Eiffel Tower, so I had to do a second run. And then this one. Oh, my gosh. This one, they show it as being cut out. It doesn't cut out, guys. It cuts into. This is a negative space die. All right? You can use this on your cardstock. The only thing that will be cut out are the little tiny diamonds. All right, you will get these stitch lines that will cut into the paper, but that in and of itself does not cut out. You will have to go around with your scissors and cut it out if you want it cut out. Now, this is the negative space side. All right, and then this is what the positive space on the Paris and the flowers looks like. And you can see that each one of the letters has stitching on it. Okay. On the light lamp post, this part does not pop out. It does have two slats to indicate where the glass would be. And it's got little slats down here on the bottom. And then the Eiffel Tower has slats that go across the cross beams. All right. It's, it's a basic Eiffel Tower. I mean, you look at it, you know it's an Eiffel Tower, but it's supposed to be the letter A. So, 
Yeah, and then I just put on a couple of drops of glue and just rub the glue around on the back with my finger for these ones with a lot of little detail. And they're sticking pretty good. It sticks pretty good. I used my Stacy glue. So, that's it for this month, guys. Um, I'm going to have fun playing with these, especially the poodles. The poodles are near and dear to my heart. Um, these guys, are, I'm sure I'm going to be coloring on a lot this summer. Because I think they're just so cute and adorable. And I love poodles. I grew up with poodles. Um, it took near, well over 25 years before I got another poodle. And, um, yeah, they're just one of my favorite dog breeds. So, well, actually, yeah, well, one of my favorite dog breeds. Okay, guys, so that's it for now. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Go check out lalalandcrafts.com and uh, join the craft club. You can no longer get the April club unless you join. Uh, you can get the previous clubs that you don't have, but you have to be a member for two months, and you're only allowed to order one back order per month after that, if there are any in stock. And she has links and everything else on her website so that you can go and take a look and see what she has in stock. Okay, guys, I will talk to you all later, because I want to end this before it shuts off on me. Okay, guys, bye.